Hill had to put through the reeds, wanted to obey my commands, pretending to paint, paint clearly, and defend yourselves at all times. Ladies and gentlemen, six three minute rounds. Seconds out, round one. So, a decent little contest this one. Which sees Ronnie Heffron take on Barry Jones. Ronnie Heffron being billed as uh, one of the country's brightest prospects. It wasn't too long ago that the, uh, the same tag was being thrown around whenever Barry Jones walked into the ring. He's fought for a, a British title, stopped by Kell Brook. And he had a, a hotly disputed um, points loss to Suleiman Mbay, who was a, is and was a, a world champion. So for a while, Barry Jones was uh, hot stuff. Now it's Ronnie Heffron, who's being billed as the next big thing. And beaten in five fights with three stoppages. And Barry Jones comes with a very, very experienced record. 16 wins, seven losses. He was uh, unbeaten as a pro for a long time as well. It's a decent test this, Colin, for, for Ronnie Heffron. Certainly is. This one made it well to wait. Six threes. Ronnie Heffron ready to be let off the leash, though, according to trainer Anthony Farnell. He says he'll um, give most of the welterweights in the country a decent test. I guess the field is led by Kel Brook. He's got very fast hands, hasn't he, Heffron? Yep. Style built for the pros. That was a, an amateur, he uh, won the ABA title. Taking control of this fight as well, hasn't he, Colin? Very, very good com uh, combination, left, right, left. If his punches are quick and crisp and accurate. Hails from Oldham, Ronnie Heffron. He's yeah. obviously maturing rapidly. Well, he's only, I think he's 20. He turned pro as a teenager, but he's um, doesn't look as if he's got much growing to do, does he? No, but he's and strength-wise, he, he can grow. He looks strong already, though. Here he's got Jones trapped against the ropes. Fighters uh, don't really get, you know, his weight. Don't get into their full adult strength to their 24, 25. Yeah, someone like Amir Khan was the exception. Yeah, he, he was 17 going on 27, wasn't he? Still only, what, 24, 25 now? 24. Can't. Of course, he uh, defends his title a week today in Las Vegas against Zab Judah. And uh, he'll have to be, watch himself, certainly for the first half of the fight, because Judah's an extremely dangerous man. That was a good opener. How did you have it, Colin? Oh, I made uh, Heffron the winner of that round. Seeing some action back there from the first round. The first round of six. Lovely right hand there from Heffron. Get some good sparring in the gym. Trains alongside the likes of uh, Frankie Gavin. Tony Ballou's been in the gym in the past. Corners. Both boxers up off their stools well before the uh, the bell goes for the start second of the jump. second round. Round two. Efron's just got that sort of extra look of sharpness about him, hasn't he, Colin? And Jones doesn't yeah, look right. quite kind of he's in shape, isn't he, Barry Jones? But he doesn't look kind of fight ready. Perhaps. Heffron really is uh, very, very ripped. Stinging it, whipping in those left hooks of the body. Jones is standing with him, though. Less accuracy to his punches and a bit less power as well. There's a, a spitefulness about Ronnie Heffron. That just makes uh, Jones miss. 
uh, he goes in there with the intention of uh, hurting people. Oh, good body shot there from Heffron, left hand. Referee not really being called upon at all at the moment. We could have this one in the phone box. Back comes Jones, but those punches, Colin, just seems to lack a bit of spark. They're a bit heavy, aren't they? Yeah. Um, it doesn't look as if he's going to be. Um, he look, it doesn't look as if he's going to handle Heffron. Um, I don't know he, what he's going to try and do to keep Heffron off him. Obviously. The southpaw right jab, maybe, but... At the moment, Heffron's just walking him down. I think some of these body shots are beginning to yeah. hurt Jones, and there's blood around his face as well. Uppercut there from oh, Heffron, and then it... Those three. hooks to the body, they, they must really sting. And there's three right hands in that combination, two to the body, one to the head. Jones is brave and fighting back, but just lacking the, the menace at the moment of Heffron, who pounds away to the body. Yeah, he's completely outgunned, isn't he? This will be a decent scalp if uh, Heffron stops this. Jones, uh, his head just rocked back there by a right hand as Heffron continues to march him down. He's relentless, Heffron. Jones just caught Heffron uh, there, though. Yeah, but no effect. Relentless Ronnie. That'd be a good nickname. just centimetres between the two boxers at the moment as there has been for much of this round <laughs> a jarring jab jolts back uh, Jones's head Here comes Jones with a body shot a good uppercut though on the inside from Jones this is a decent fight this it's only the, the second round but a lot must have been taken out of both boxes. I think more was taken out of Jones, though. Di Jones in um, Barry Jones's corner. So it's obviously Jones got a slight cut over uh, his left eye towards the bridge of the nose. I don't think it's too serious, mind you. See those body shots being whipped in by uh, Heffron. Fresh face kid, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Baby looks face. a sweet lad <laughs> until the bell goes. His brother's a, a boxer too. So the seconds corners. Heffron's um, ahead, but Jones gave a decent account second of himself. Down. Second half round of that three. second round. Heffron comes bouncing across the ring and starts with a three-punch combination. Heffron not quite as busy in this second round. Pace just dropped a bit. A little space between the boxes as well. And Heffron marches forward. And some blood from Ronnie Heffron's nose. Jones is doing okay, I think, Colin. Sticks well, out of that jab now. I don't think he's winning anything. I'm not sure. I think he's um, had a bit more success in this round. That jab causing Heffron a few problems. Now Heffron's got Jones backed into the ropes. Tough fight this for both boxers. Only Heffron's work rate has definitely dropped. Jones 
the body shot. I don't like the way he well, telegraphed his punches by grunting all the time. Is that Heffron? Yeah, Heffron. He's, uh, he's got to cut that out. Jones beginning to target the body as Heffron did in the first round. Nice two-punch combination there from Jones. This right hand to the left-hand side of uh, Ronnie Heffron, giving Jones some success. Oh, good body shot, though, back from Heffron. Close round, this. Real pick -em. A tight around this one. That was a good shot from Heffron. That, that hurt him. That Back comes Jones though him. with so much weight behind these punches, Colin. But they're they're an annoyance, aren't they? Well, they're and scoring. They're, they're keeping him scoring too. Yeah. Jones really giving a, a good account of himself in that third round. Well. Depends how you uh, like to see your fights and fighters. I like uh, Hefron's non-stop aggression and his body punching. I made him win the first three rounds. Seeing Anthony Farnell and Dean Powell in Ronnie Hefron's corner as we get the best of the action from the third round. I will say Jones does take a lot of punches on his arms and shoulders. But Hefron getting through, you, you can see with that very good left uppercut and right uppercut. Ten seconds, corners. Good shots, they are. <clears throat> seconds out, round four. Start of the fourth round. Hefron in the um, silver shorts with the Union Jack flag. I will say that Ronnie is a real little terrier, isn't he? Never, he is. never lets up. He looks in cracking shape. Maybe the conditioning will play a role. I know this fight's only six rounds, but it's been fought at a decent pace. Best fight of the evening so far. And it's Heffron who started the fourth round well. Anthony Farnell in uh, Heffron's corner, just waving him on at the moment, encouraging him to fight closer. So we had the success in the first well, two rounds, but better for Jones in the third. Now cut around, uh, just underneath Jones' eye. Maybe it's just a mouse. A bit of damage. Good uppercut there from Ronnie Heffron. Better round this for the, uh, the man from Oldham, the house fighter. Jones though. It's in a bit of a lull at the moment, aren't we, Colin? Yeah, well, it was pretty um, fast pace, uh, for f certainly for the opening three rounds. Uh, I'm not surprised it slowed a little. Very, very good body punch, although the referee seemed to think that Heaven's right hand strayed a bit low, but. Almost made. Jones wince in pain, that one. Well, nearly Tries doubled him up, didn't it? Stand his ground now and fire out some punches. Another body shot from Heffron. Jones, Jones hasn't got the up. power to keep him off. He really is powering home to the body. Both hands. Jones backed up in a, bit, a little bit of trouble here, I think, Colin. 
Yeah, he's wearing him down, slowly but surely. He's trapped on the ropes and takes it another body shot. Jones, uh, well, he throws out some punches, but looks tired as he does so. Yeah, there's no snap in them. Oh, yeah. that's a naughty one by Hevron. He let one go after the bell. But Jones didn't complain, took it well. Part smiled and patted uh, Hevron on the back as he went back to his corner. Played out in a very good sporting spirit, which I always enjoy seeing. Jones blowing hard as he goes back to the corner. Looks the unhappier of the two. Seeing Heffron uh, just sort of relaxing on his stalk. He'll be very sore round the ribs in the morning, that I'm sure. Oh, being made to work hard for his money here, Barry Jones. Ten seconds, corners. Seconds out, round five. Anthony Farnell in uh, Heffron's corner. Took his time getting out of the ring there. And Jones was actually up off his stool with five, ten seconds left uh, of the minute rest. It's Heffron who again makes a good start to this, the fifth round. With Jones probably behind on the referee scorecard. Heffron again targeting Jones with these body shots. Is that a Manchester thing perhaps, Colin? Well, so, body, uh, body punching. Body punching. Ricky Hatton with it. Well, it's an art. Uh, there's an art to body punching. Which is why I get very annoyed with the amateurs who don't score body punching. So two left hands there to the body from um, Ronnie Heffron. And Jones is just in a bit of trouble here. The crowd sense it. Jones very much on the back foot. Covering up here. Heffron looking for the angles. Works the body again. I tell you what, Jones is a tough kid. There's no doubt about that. A lot of other fighters would have been on the floor by now. Even if it was only to get a little respite from this non-stop onslaught that Heffron's been throwing at him. Yeah, Heffron's on him again. What have we got left? A minute and a half of uh, this, the fifth round. Heffron just messes with a body shot. It's these ones around the corner, though. That one there, left hand. That's the punch that's proving so successful for him. Back comes Jones. No snap in his punches, though. There's not been for well, the last couple of rounds. <laughs> Jones on the ropes again. Efron looking really confident at the moment. Back comes Jones though, he's weathered that little storm. Tough, tough six rounder. You see, twelve rounds with less action than this one. Many, many times, yeah, and unfortunately, Heffron just punched himself out with a little burst at the start of the round. Been a lot less active in the second half of this, the fifth. Well, the conclusion I'm making is either Jones is extremely tough, or. Heffern doesn't punch as hard as we think he does. Kill Brook stopped uh, Barry Jones in. Oh, good shot though there from Jones. He hasn't got the power to, to stop Heffron. And again, Heffron just catches him at the end of the bell. I th just thought Jones had hurt Heffron there. He caught him a he bit flat-footed. He certainly caught him, but I don't think it hurt him. He hasn't got the power of uh, Jones, unfortunately, for himself to... to, to uh, deny Heffern's non-stop march forward throwing leather but uh, he's not wobbled Jones once has he? Now Kel Brook I think stopped Barry Jones in I think five or seven rounds yeah well he's not a puncher as you know Kel Brook is a hell of a puncher this was uh, that's the two body shots at the start of the round that Jones uh, backed up in a bit of trouble 
lovely uh, jab there from Heffron. 10 seconds, corners. Well, seconds out for the sixth and final round. So far, as far as I'm concerned, it's a whitewash. But uh, we'll see what the referee's got to say at the end of it. Heffron again on the front foot at the start of the sixth as he tries to finish this fight in style. Both boxers can see the finishing line hovering just on the horizon at the moment. Two and a half minutes left of the round, two and a half minutes left of the fight. And Barry Jones will be determined to hear the final belt. He deserves to as well. Shown plenty of bottle in this fight. Lovely punching this from both boxers. Just how it was in the first couple of rounds. It's Efron who's looking the fresher faced of the two. And on top, Colin. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt in my mind that he's uh, won this extremely comfortably. Oh, good shot though back there from Jones, left hand. Efron's taken these all night though. Only seven stoppages uh, on Jones's record. Okay, a percentage of around 40. And just not got the power to really trouble Oldham's finest. Well, if you come from Oldham, I think you probably think the Oldham's finest is Paul Scholes, but there you go. <laughs> In a boxing sense, Colin. <laughs> so it's Heffron finishing this fight well, but Jones is hanging in there. He's caught, caught with a body shot there. Blood escapes from his nose. Nice two-punch combination from Jones. Just You've got to hand it to Jones. His courage is, uh, super, you know, he's got superb courage. Face really bloody now. I think Heffron's going to end up winning this, Colin, fairly comfortably on the um, well, referee scorecard, but it will only tell half the story, won't it? He has been made to work. A few, uh, a few nervy moments as well. Occasional bit of brilliance from Jones, but it's been mainly Heffron's fight. These body shots have been his hallmark. He's got a pretty useful uppercut as well. Anyway, the usual hug and congratulations. No doubt who was the winner. It's going to be interesting. I'm, I made him win every round. I don't suppose the referee has, but we'll find out. Maybe Heffron, uh, uh, Jones had a... A decent third round, maybe did enough to win that one, but Heffron pretty much on top. Maybe just dropped the pace in rounds three and four, but he, he finished strongly. And he does look at a real prospect, Ronnie Heffron, and ready to be moved on quickly as well. Jones he looks exhausted back in his corner. It's a tough Ladies fight for him. Here we go. Your referee scores a contest 60 points to 56. The winner in the blue corner from Oldham. Ronnie Heffron.